hello everyone welcome welcome back to my channel so today what i'm gonna be showing you guys is what is inside my Juruliku pen cases because i bought three of them this year and i am so in love with them so i want to show you guys what is inside how i use it and also as you guys can see i have a hobonishi one in here so i'm gonna show you also that drawer pouch that i have from hobonishi and what are my thoughts regarding these ones versus that one so before we start, let's turn on a candle. Actually, I want to turn on this one. This one is the winter pine and it smells amazing. So I am really excited to turn this on. But if you don't know me, my name is B and I made so many videos about unboxing, a lot of stationery, a lot of planning anything related with paper but anyways let's start so this year i saw so many people using euro Lico. i really don't know when this came out but many of the people that i follow on instagram use this so i got really interested actually on this one because i wanted to put my phantom pens this one in here is more like a utility pouch to put the stuff in there then we got this one this one i got it when i went to buy in the website because i went to buy this one and i bought it from the website itself the Yuruliko. so it came from japan it took a while like a week or something to arrive but after shipping but yeah so i saw this in the website and i absolutely love this one this one in here is the photo case so i really like it because it's really nice and then this one i bought it in a detach on instagram and I actually love it a lot because I wanted to buy this one for my phantom pens, but actually I'm using this one for my phantom pens. So let's start with this big chunky guy in here. This one, actually, I wanted to put a lot of stuff in here to see how much I can fit in here and in order to bring it with me with any trips or stuff. So at first it looks a little bit weird because it's full in the inside, but I do have in here some of these different kind of like pins. I have this one by Travelers Factory. I have this one that is just some, some kind of like paint little bottle. Then I have this one that is just Navy Wife. And then I have this one that is by Mooming. It's just my little mine. So when you open it up, this has two different areas. So this one in here is the one that I wanted to use for my phantom pens. Then I realized that actually this fits super nice all my Tombow pens. And this is the difference between that one and this one by Hobonishi. Because this one in Hobonishi, you cannot really put a Tombow in there. It's going to be super, super tight. I don't think you can even close it. The difference between these ones and the Hobonishi is that the Hobonishi has this pouch in here, this one you really could you just open it up like that. But Honishi has this that is in a zipper, and you put everything inside there. And then in here, you just have like four, three different compartments in there to put stuff. This one looks a little bit more into this other Juruliko. But yeah, this is the inside of the Hobonishi. So in here, a part of being able to put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different tombos in this side, I have like a lot i have this i have been i'm gonna make another video about this but i have been putting all my washi into this kind of washi tape test thingies in here and this had a little controversy in one post that i made on instagram because pe people were telling me to not put it in here in case i ever want to sell my it, my stuff and i have seen so many people detaching on instagram and i don't have anything against you selling your stuff but i have seen so many people selling stuff that is like three times more expensive of what it will be for you to buy it in the original website or something like that so i i do really i'm not in that side of selling my stuff if i don't like something i prefer to just giving it to my family that actually i'm bringing to my niece a lot of pens and stuff than just <laughs> reselling it for a lot more or or yeah i'm more into giving it away so I have given away some of the coolest stuff that I got from Traveler's Company. It's not that I'm not going to use it, but when I send something to my friends or I buy something from someone and I send them something, I send like some washi tape or some stickers. So anyways, I do not care about putting all my washing here. If in the end I don't like this one, I can just cut this and give that one to some one. But so far, I love these washi tapes and they are from different people. Like if you see in here, I think that this one in here is by Pepperminty Studio. This one I bought it on Amazon. Then this one in here, I don't remember exactly, but I know like these two in here are by Archer and Olive, the collection that they have last summer that I absolutely love it. So 
I combine all the washi and it's really easy to just put how many, like six different rolls into one pouch and use them way better than using all that circular roll that it comes in. So the first thing that I have inside is this. And then moving on, I have this. This was an impulse buying because this is extremely tiny. This is by Traveler's Factory. I bought this in Japan and I bought it this. I don't really remember. It was expensive, but if you open it up, you just do this and it opens up and I think it's so cool. You have like so many tiny, tiny little um, kind of like color pencils. I don't know how you call it, but they are extremely tiny. They're super cute. So I have it in here as a emergency kind of like painting or drawing kind of thing. And this has a really tiny, 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 like pen. Uh, I don't know how you, you call this, that you use it to make pointy the pens. Uh, English is not my first language, as you can see. But, but yeah, so this one is really cute. It kind of like, it's hard to mash it in there. And then in here, it comes with this beautiful small eraser isn't this the cutest thing that you can ever see like i love stationery and this is nice i haven't used them yet because it's kind of like one of those things that i feel like if i use it i'm gonna break it but it's so cool so i still have it in there in case i ever want to use any pencil color pens i don't know how you call these ones and and yeah so it comes in here in this little pouch so i just have it in there super cute super tiny and i love it then inside this i also have this this is just to hold my pages together so i have so many different kind of clips i can show you i am um uh, like a hoarder for stationery i collect everything related with the stationery except um pet tape i i don't i haven't got into the pep tape and i hope i don't get into pep tape but everything else i collect a lot so this one is super super cute I absolutely love this. I bought this in Atlas Stationery in Chicago and it's so pretty. So it's just this tiny little hand to hold my pages together. Then apart from that one, I have this. This in here are some of this paper. It's kind of like sticky notes, but they are a craft paper. So they are really small and I like it just on the go. They are really cute, aesthetic. They go with any kind of colors because it's craft paper and is again really tiny so i can have it in there to take notes of anything and just put it in my planner then moving on we get this this one in here is again super tiny super small i have two i have this one and i also have the green one that travelers company was selling but yeah i really like this one this is the one that i have used a little bit more as you guys can see it's kind of like dirty all around because i have like so many different colors i even have some gold in there and these are already kind of breaking but i was using this a lot to paint when i was painting in the boat when we were go fishing i will just draw or paint or kind of like journal or read books so i'm so excited for summer because during summer i kind of feel more like painting so yeah so i have this tiny watercolor palette in there and then with the watercolor i also have this one this one is by rosemary and co and this one was sell also on the travelers company website and this in here when you open it up is this beautiful watercolor brush in here so it's really nice and i can use it to use with this and what i like is that you can close it and it becomes really tiny so these two tins are like pocket size for me. So moving on in here, I have two different tins. I have this. This is a tiny whiteout or correction tape. And it's kind of like, a, it's not white. It's more like cream kind of color because that's the kind of color that I use in my pages. And then I have this. This is not a whiteout. This is basically a tape. So you just roll it up and then you can paste stuff. So I have these two with me because I use them a lot. Then moving on, I have in here two different rulers. I have so many rulers. The ones that are my favorite lately are the ones by um are the ones by the Coffee Monsters Co. But I use a lot these on my daily planner. These ones are again by Travelers Company. I absolutely love Travelers Company and I bought these two. They are brass kind of rulers. And in here, this one has the numbers and it has kind of like flight or time or luggage and stuff like that and this one in here has the alphabet so i use these ones to kind of create a little bit or more 
beautiful spreads i don't know like i feel like when i use these stencils it looks kind of cool so i use these two rulers in there and then moving on i'm almost done i have this one in here this one you guys have seen it in many of my videos if you watch my videos i use this just to paste on to grab all the stickers and put them together i lost the tin that will close in here to keep it secure so it kind of opens up which is kind of sad i should find a way to put it again so it's closed all the time but i used that one i bought it out of amazon and then i got this so this in here is a little pair of scissors and they are so cute i have different pairs i can show you another video but these are so cute i got these ones in my last trip to chicago and also i got it in atlas stationers and i think that they look so cute together so this is so pretty in here and believe it or not actually i don't get really bothered by this when i'm using this so these are tiny ones and i just keep it in there so all of this goes into this little leak. so let's just put it away so i feel like this one in here is super good it's kind of big when i was seeing it online i thought that it was gonna be not so big that it was actually gonna be just good for me to put the fountain pens that i used during the month but it turns out that it's actually really big my hands are not super small but if we kind of like compare it with this they are like that <laughs> they are a little bit long and if we compare it with the hobonishi one they are a little bit longer than the hobonishi pouches but the hobonishi pouches what i don't like if you guys remember this in the beginning it was a tiny little bit bulky like this but the hobonishi ones they get really like i don't know it's easier they're more soft so it gets really bulky this one in here has this pocket in the back this one doesn't have any pockets but for some reason i love this material it's really nice i don't even know the exact name of the material i'm not really savvy when it comes to <laughs> materials and names of stuff but yeah so i still have this one and i have another one of hobonishi that i go crazy buying hobonishi stuff at the end of the year but yeah so this one is the one that compared the most with this one now moving on into this other beautiful one so i bought this one as i mentioned with the intention of putting my fountain pens but this has become my holy grail for pouches i absolutely love this beautiful little pouch it's so pretty the color is amazing it match my tn really nice and even my other tn the one that i have that is brown the camel color looks so pretty with this so starting up in here i also have another ones of those pins i have this one that it says pura vida from costa rica i'm from costa rica and we use this as a saying so this pura vida is not for the pura vida bracelets company i don't have anything against them but this is from costa rica not from that so i'm from costa rica and we say pura vida that's our slang that we use for everything really and then we have another one of travelers factory in here and another navy wife in here so when you open it up this one Ta-da! It fits all the phantom pens. This is the collection of phantom pens that I have for March, but I'm going to be switching this around pretty soon because April is around the corner next week. So I'm going to be showing you guys the new currently ink for the month of April. But as of right now, for the month of March, I was using all of these ones. These ones are the Kaweco student phantom pens. They all have kind of these different colors for the cup and the body is just cream so i really like them and then they are really pretty too so these ones are gonna go and get cleaned up over the weekend and then i'm gonna fill out other ones to use for april these ones are already gonna use a lot of the ink so it's okay then i have here some of my holy grail ones these two are really the holy grail i have this one that is cream this is the twisty eco inside it has a green color that is amazing i absolutely love it and then this one is my pilot vanishing point that is spoiler alert i bought more a uh, vanishing point and i'm gonna be using it in april and i really love it so if you wanna watch that video stay in here and watch the next one just subscribe to my channel so you can see all the updates and things that i'm buying and stuff but i absolutely love this phantom pen this one is the pilot vanishing point this one is the mate black and is in the fine size so it's just super simple super pretty i absolutely love it 
And then this one in here is another twist be eco. This one has a red orange kind of color inside. So this is how I use this one, mainly for my fountain pens. It has three pockets in here for fountain pens. And in here it has two pockets. I don't think this is mainly done with the intention of a fountain pen, but I do put fountain pens in there. And in this pocket in here that is a small, I don't put anything. So this one is in here. And then moving on into the last one, is this beautiful one this is the photo pen so you open it up with this it has this core i like to like put it like a zigzag but if you want you can just put it like together in there like parallel lines but yeah i love the zigzag one and it has in here you really cool. it's like so cute it's literally just like an envelope i love it and then inside here i have some of the pens that i use and the things that I use like an extra, I use a lot of these ones. These ones in here are the micro pens. I use it for drawing or I use them for titles. I usually use the number eight and number five for titles in my journal. And then I use the number one for drawing and the number three for shadows. Then I have these other two in here. These ones in here are the Tosh sign pen. I bought it in the website of Hobonishi. This one is just really red. Like they are the colors that you can see red and black. I use this one for titles as well. And I use this one for crossing out the task or the to-do list. And then I have these other two in here. And I use this one. This is the Crayola Super Tips. I have the whole collection of Crayola Super Tips. I really like them. This one in here is literally so pretty. It's kind of like a brown, a little bit darker that you can see in here. And I use this one to highlight the stuff and also to highlight the days because I use that one for kind of like the days that are passing. Then I have this one, this one, I don't know. This is the Kokuyomi and this is 0 0.7. This one, it was sent to me as a gift and I absolutely love the color. It's kind of like this beautiful greenish bluish color and it's basically just some pencil in there. And in here in the top, it has an eraser that you just twist that you just switch or I don't know how you say this movement, but you put it up and it's gonna come all the eraser and then you switch it down and the eraser disappears. So I really like this one. I use it for it, whatever I wanna make a really cool <laughs> drawing. I sometimes do it by pencil and then go with these ones. So that's basically everything that I have in my Julico pen cases i will say that i absolutely love the Jurulico and i love the hobonishi because the hobonishi has designs that's the only difference but these ones in here they are super aesthetic they are super nice to use and they look really nice in my desk so i like this one but yeah as i say this is too soft it gets super big like instead of everything getting really organized for some reason this gets super big um, but yeah, I I am using right now this for other cases. For example, I'm using it to have my hard drive in here and the ha and the little cable that connects to my computer. So I keep it in this in, in this one in here. But I took it out. But just for this video. But yeah, anyways, these are the Eureka cases. In case you were trying like me that you found out this year about it, and if you wanted to buy some of them. So you can actually see the differences in sizes and also like difference in kind of styles. I haven't seen anyone posting this photo case one, but I absolutely love it. It's really cute. And this one, many people post about this one, but this is kind of like what it can hold any of these ones. But yeah, that's all for today's video. This is everything that I have in my three different pouches with these pouches. I'm good to go anywhere and if i really need to pouches these two babies in here are going with me but anyways thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing to my channel and also like and comment this video i really love to read comments and i always reply but yeah that's all for today's video thank you so much and i will see you on friday with the next one bye